Hey, what's up, my ninja? Shinobi here with another Diablo 3 video for you. Uh, recently, the auction house went down. I did make a video about that. It'll be linked at the very end of this video. Uh, so it made me want to think about maybe finding some farm routes for you guys. A lot of people have been messaging me like crazy on YouTube and even Twitch and, and my Facebook and everywhere, pretty much saying... What do we do now? The auction house is gone. How are we going to get items, this and that? Now, the auction house isn't going to be gone until mid-March, and Loot 2.0 should be out somewhere before then or maybe around that time. And the reason we know that is there's been a lot of Blizzard posts and a lot of these people talking, and even the lead developer, Josh, he actually said that in a Twitter thing that they're aiming for it to come out around BlizzCon. Now what this means is that there's going to be new items in the game, these items are going to be a lot better, and what you're going to need to do to get these items is to farm like crazy. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys a video on some farm routes and an XP route that you'll be able to use to pretty much efficiently farm these items and even items that you can get right now it's really good for that as well too but it's going to be even better when loot 2.0 comes out and you're going to be able to do this even more efficiently when you start getting the new loot 2.0 items so on the live stream as you can see the footage behind me I've been trying to recruit some people and see which people can help me do these farm routes and this is just one of the runs that we did for the farm route that I wanted to do now the area here I'm going to go over the farm route in just a second but I'm going to give you a little bit of breakdown and pretty much what happened in that short amount of time that we did this pretty much we were getting about 170 million XP per hour which is crazy we had no buffs or anything like that except for the strength and numbers buff which you really want to utilize that's why you want to have a four person group but we had no uh, Hellfire Reigns or Lyric Singets or anything like that so it's 170 million plus and each one of the people in the group even told me how much XP they were getting I'm already Paragon 100 so I wanted to bring my Demon Hunter for this, you know, setup because I want to put together a really good farming team for when all this stuff comes out so I can get tons of stuff to give away on the live stream and so I can make my characters better to get myself ready for the expansion that'll be coming up. So, we also got between 10 to 12 legendaries per hour on average and that was each of us, not all together. That was each of us. And you can see just from how many rares and other items and stuff we got as well, too. We had so much stuff to give away. And then also, we got tons of demonic essences. And it's just a really good route to do in general. Now, the route that you want to do is uh, just like this. You need to do it the exact way that we did it. That way, you can utilize it the best. So, what you want to do first is you want to go to the Festering Woods. Uh, go, go there, you can usually get between four to five stacks of NV. The reason you're going to this area, even though it's not very high mob uh, density, you're mainly going to this area for the stacks of NV because you can get them really quickly there in Act 1. Um, so after you do that, if you don't have five stacks before the next location I tell you that, I'm, that you need to go to, then you want to go to Lyric's Manor and there's always a guaranteed one there. Just quickly get the last one there and then go off to the Fields of Misery. In the Fields of Misery, you want to full clear that is a very high mob density area. And not only just that, they also have the decaying crypts in there too, or the crypts of awesomeness, I like to call them, because it's such a great spot. I always get legendaries when I go in there. The mob density is insane, one of the best in the game. Um, now, it doesn't spawn all the time. It's between a 50 to 60% chance that it will spawn. Uh, then also, when, once you're done there, you want to go to the Weeping Hollow, and you want to full clear that. Now, these areas aren't really new areas. People have been farming this stuff for a while now, but the way that you do them is important, and the order that you do them is very important as well. So, with these areas... After everything's done, if you full clear all these areas that I told you in 30 minutes, you'll get around the same results that we got. You get around 170 million plus XP per hour, 10 to 12 legendaries per hour, and I got a little bit more than they did because I'm Paragon 100. Uh, but even if you're lower Paragon level, just scale it down a little bit if you're like Paragon 50 or 60. But I mean, the Paragon system has been out for, what, over a year now? We're coming up to a year almost. So I think a lot of people have you know a high paragon level character by now and uh, yeah and a lot of people also want to finish off their paragon levels people that haven't hit 100 yet they want to get ready for the expansion so this is another way you can do this I did something similar to this when I was leveling from 
um, 1 to 100 doing this route and I got between level 99 to 100 it took about two hours to hit from 99 to 100 and you need about 350 million XP to go from 99 to 100 so that's very fast so just imagine how quick that would be from Paragon you know 1 to 10 or something like that we had people when we were doing this run that were only Paragon 50 and they got like three or four levels and just one run through that we were doing just a one hour long session so it definitely is very effective guys if you want to try and really take advantage of this but one thing that's also very important is going to be your group comp now what we did in the video here that you're seeing is this is a group comp that I really liked for a long time now and I'll explain why I like it now you want to have a CM wizard you want to have a monk you want to have a Hoda Barb, and you want to have a Demon Hunter or a Witch Doctor. You can switch those two out. Either way, any like any class can do this. And the great thing about this is these classes work really well together by taking down AOE packs and getting things down. But the main things that you need is a CM Wizard and also a Monk as well. Now, the reason you need a CM Wizard is because they can stun lock all these things. It's going to be very important. Um, you also want to use the passive with the CM wizard which is um, cold blooded which will the frozen targets will deal an extra 20 you deal an extra 20 percent damage that's gonna help a lot um, also make sure that their attacks per second is high enough to be able to stun lock these things we played with some CM wizards that they had decent attacks per second but um, it just wasn't cutting it and things were running around and people were dying and they, the CM wizard that you get really needs to be on top of this thing whether you're the CM wizard or a friend of yours or something like that if you come by the stream and we're doing this run too then you can do it with us um, and then also the monk needs to be using overall and I believe it's called vortex which pulls all the mobs in that'll make it really easy for the CM wizard to be able to stun lock everything and then also the Barbarian. The Barbarian's job is a Whirlwind Hoda Barbarian that can do really crazy single target damage and AoE damage. And the Barbarian's job is to run around the map, grab all the stuff, bring it in close for the CM Wizard to stun, the Monk vortex everything in so everything's very compact and AoEable. And then also the Demon Hunter can be using Mark for Death. You can see just like all the increased damage that we're getting off of that and I believe I was using Grim Reaper, the one that puts the dots on all of them, so it's just crazy AoE damage, just really, really good. If you're using a Witch Doctor, um, you know, in a separate situation, just use your Witch Doctor spec. I don't know if Fire, fire Bats might work for this. Um, don't, didn't really, really experiment too much with Witch Doctors, but we may do that in upcoming videos and such. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all you have to do. That's the comps that you need. That's the farm route. Um, that's about everything. And I'm also going to put in the description to write down the farm route for you just in case you didn't pay attention to that one part or maybe you just want it written down so it's a little easier to follow. So I will put that in the description as well. But this is going to be very good for you guys for farming for Loot 2.0 to get ready for it. And so you can, you can farm stuff really well when it does come out. And it's also going to be really good for you guys for when Loot 2.0 does come out and you can farm things a lot faster. Now if Loot 2.0 comes out before the auction house goes away, just imagine how expensive these items are going to sell for on the auction house. You're going to be able to make a lot of gold in the first week or two on finding these items. So the people that find these items the quickest are the ones that are going to make the most amount of gold. So keep that in mind as well too. Now some people in the comments may say, well, Loot 2.0 is not going to come out until the expansion. That's the whole point, right? They've already stated many times that they don't want that to happen because if the auction house goes away and then Loot 2.0 isn't out yet, then it's pretty much making it almost useless for us to even play Diablo 3 because pretty much the best way to get items right now is the auction house, unfortunately. But once that goes away, the best way is going to be playing the game. They're going to change the drop chances and some of these you know, chances of finding how many legendaries per hour and the XP per hour may be different. Uh, the XP per hour will probably be faster because you're going to be just mowing things down quickly. But try and test this out with your friends. Try and do you can do it by yourself as well too. Um, solo, I would say maybe a whirlwind Hoda barbarian or maybe a CM wizard can do this around the same speed. Uh, but test it out. It really depends on what you know what you find. And leave comments down below. I'd really like to know you know 
how, how effective this was for you, how many legendaries you found, how much XP you got, how many Paragon levels you uh, you actually got. And also, I'm going to be taking some people through with some runs that we're going to be doing on the live stream. So make sure you guys hit thumbs up, be subscribed, leave a comment down below, and I'm going to pick some of you guys randomly to come and get pretty much power leveled through Paragons and also tons of items and, and playing with you guys in Loot 2.0, and it's going to be really epic. So... Definitely check it out, guys. I'm going to have some more farm routes in the future. This was just one of them. There's a lot more to come. There's got to be, there's so many more ways of getting items than the auction house. And I want you guys to get more used to getting items in game than the auction house because that's how it's going to be in the future. And the people that are the most prepared are the people that are going to make, get the most amount of items and really utilize their characters and have the most amount of fun. So. That's all for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and all the other stuff I said earlier. My name is Shinobi, and until next time, thanks for watching. This much XP per hour, and that's also just showing. Look all the all the items that we got. Like my bags are full in just 30 minutes. And look at one, two, three, four, five, le six legendaries. I think I found, and that's just 30 minutes. So that's only, that's a legendary per five minutes. When you look down here, there's already 2,500 comments, which is some of the most comments that I've ever seen on a Diablo 3 post uh, here on their website. So it seems like everybody's really liking this.